I'm surrounded by white, pure white, nothing but white, it's a bright white light, so bright. I can see me, but I can see nothing else around mm -hmm. me. Describe how this white light feels. It feels powerful. Mm -hmm. Can you move through this light? Yes. Mm -hmm. Movement is easy, but it's bright. It's like being in a light bulb. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it feels like heaven. I don't know, I'm not. So I'd like for you to ask, use your mind to ask, is this heaven? All of this communication is done telepathically, mind to mind. Yes, this is heaven, this is Father's house. Mm -hmm. This is the house that I know. Very good. Today we're going to find out He's what? telling me off. <laughs> What's he saying? He's on his throne. Mm -hmm. He looks like an, like the figures that we are shown on earth. Mm -hmm. Beard, white, grey hair, wearing his robe. He is like a giant, and I'm still, I'm very, I'm very small in my human form. Mm -hmm. Can you ask Father if this is the form that he takes for a reason? No, he's saying he's doing it for, um, for the people, because mm -hmm. this is what they know him as. Okay, what is he truly like? He's showing me the connection that we have between myself and him. Mm -hmm. It's very different, Albert. The connection that we have is more like it's like we're more like brothers, but it's a different realm. It's not the realm of heaven. It's mm -hmm. a different realm. Mm -hmm. That's what he's showing me. So why are you here today? <laughs> <laughs> Albert, I'm getting told off <laughs> because I I had a vision earlier in January mm -hmm. and I haven't shared it with the world and that's why he's brought me here. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to share it today? <laughs> Father's like damn right we're ready to share. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. Okay. Father wants everyone to know how much he loves you, how much he cares about what's happening on planet Earth at the moment. He's also he's also saying it's time to share the divine plan. He has a lot of love in his heart for humanity. He cares so deeply about so many of you, all of you. Even the ones who are playing out the darkness, the dark side of things. He wants you to know this first. He also says he cares so much about you that he created a divine plan. And his will will be done. What is his will? For humanity to be as equal to God, to have the same abilities, to have the same access that God has. That's what he's always wanted. It's no fun just being a God by yourself. <laughs> I can see that. So what is the vision? that you need to tell the world? Father's telling me that I need to say it. Okay. Earlier this month, I think it was the 7th of Jan, from what I remember, I was doing a meditation and I had a vision 
I didn't get deep into the meditation, I just started it and all of a sudden it just appeared without warning, without me knowing. So this is the divine plan. People are very focused on 5D at the moment and that is only one aspect of the plan. The bigger plan is he wants me to explain it step by step. Okay, so what, what he's saying is that if you can imagine two springboards, okay, one on top of the other, and if you can imagine the top springboard with earth on the end, and the reptilians are holding that springboard down, okay? Mm -hmm. And on the second springboard, they are the reptilians, okay? But holding the reptilian downs are, are the AI, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's almost like working together, but not working together. So reptilians are holding down humanity. They're holding down planet Earth. As soon as we all stand together and say, this is not what we want, they will have to let go. They will let go. And that is our kind of springboard to ascension. So Father was also saying, and what I also remember in the vision, was that we've chosen 5D. Says, but we didn't have to choose 5D. We could have chosen 12D. We could have chosen beyond this. But as a collective, we've chosen 5D. That's what's been accepted. So therefore, that's what we're going to do. So the plan is for humanity to ascend. And what the bigger plan is, through this ascension, through the reasons why we're going through what we're going through, is because Father wants us to ascend so high, so knowledgeable, so wise, so loving, with love, that he wants us, wants us to be teachers. But he doesn't see his teachers as, as in our human form. He sees us as in teachers as in like big golden balls of light. They're almost like, the way I see it is basketball shaped. So at the moment, in the realms of the universe, Father sees us as human souls, as the size of little peas. And he's saying this not, not to demean the human soul or demean what he's created, but it's just an example of size. So what he's saying is that we are currently pea size and he wants us to be more basketball size. He wants us to be bigger. And in order to do that, we are going to have to go through the ascension process. The plan, which is so beautiful, Albert, is that he wants humanity, human souls, to become these golden balls of light. But what he expects from them is to go from planet to planet, to universe to universe, to teach. Mm. That's what he wants. That is the divine plan. To ascend, to, to learn, to love so deeply that he wants us to use that knowledge, use the knowledge of ascension, use the knowledge of being here on planet Earth to go and teach the rest of the universe. He showed me a vision where on one planet a teacher with a golden ball of light comes down to the planet and the children already know. The children know before the adults know. Hmm. And they, um, they surround the light and are so grateful and joyful and happy to see this particular ball of light. And they know that it's there to teach, to learn, to guide, to show the way. Very grateful for it, and that is part of the vision. That is part of the plan. This is part of the bigger plan. Father wants you to have the same abilities that he has. There has never been a restriction of what you can and cannot have. He's given us free will. Why is it that some people have such miserable lives? It's an experience they've chosen. There is much to be learnt in misery. 
There's much to be learnt in the negative side of being human. It teaches you to overcome that. Your soul is already strong. If you already knew how powerful you were, the fractals of life are so powerful within you. If you already knew, none of this would be a challenge. None of this would be learning of who you really are. This is why the veil of forgetfulness is placed on planet Earth, is so you may forget and try and discover who you really are. Ask yourself, who am I? And listen to the answer. You already have the answers. It's already within you. Listen. Listen carefully. And ask again. And listen again. What do you say to those who just don't believe? They are also on their path. That's fine not to believe. It's a state of being. That's okay. There is no judgment. If you do not want to believe, that's fine. But try. Mm -hmm. Try that little bit harder. It is within you. You have the ability. You have the knowledge. You have the love. You have my love. You've always had my love. You've always had my connection. Mm -hmm. Even you, Alba, even you. I have noticed, Alba, that your connection to me is that little bit stronger since we last had the session with Metatron. Mm -hmm. Have you been connecting that little bit more with me? I've been trying all different modalities. I know you've been trying, Alva. That's why I asked you. <laughs> I feel it. It's been buzzing. Always, do always, daughter of mine. Always. Always. I have a question. Before we started the session, we were talking about why it's taken us so long to get to where we are. For me, it took almost 30 years of breadcrumbs to finally believe, to stop doubting. Why does it take so long for us to stop doubting? That's down to your soul. It's down to you accepting. This fractal, Metatron, is also having trouble accepting he's Metatron. Mm -hmm. He does not believe it. He wants the proof. He wants someone to tell him that he is. This is the mindset that you have. Mm -hmm. The more you experience, the more you will learn. The more you're willing to experience outside of that experience, the more you will learn. Doing things that are outside of the norm. Mm -hmm. Doing stuff like this, Alba, hypnosis. Mm -hmm. Doing the yoga, doing the meditation, changing your diet, seeing how that makes you feel. Mm -hmm. Does it make you feel better? Is your light stronger? Is it more brighter because you've cut out meat or you've cut out dairy? Judge for yourself. You are all intelligent enough to do this. You are all got the capacity that I've got. You are gifted with it. So use it. Use it wisely. And be kind to one another. It saddens me when you are not so kind to one another. You are not separate. You never have been separate. You are all one. When you start seeing each other, my sacred souls, I'm going to say that again. When you start seeing each other as sacred souls having human experience, you will learn to love one another that little bit more and help one another that little bit more and treasure one another that little bit more. Father, I've been trying to gather some of these souls together. Yes. I want to know from your perspective, what happens when a group of like-minded individuals gets together? You amplify your energy hundredfold, millionfold, mm -hmm. and you send that energy out. You become a beacon. People are attracted to it. Mm -hmm. There are those within your group, however, who aren't so enlightened, mm -hmm. who require the guidance. And through sharing, through light, 
and sharing your love and sharing your energy and sharing your soul, you activate one another. Mm-hmm. You activate one another. So my question is, was it my will to do this or your will to do this? Why would it not be both, Alba? <laughs> you are me, Alba. Yes. And I am you. There is no separation. Mm-hmm. You are discovering this more. You are connecting to me more. Mm-hmm. This fractal that I sent to you has also helped you, Alba. Mm-hmm. Has also triggered you. Made you think that little bit more outside of the box, as you call it. Mm-hmm. It's wonderful to see you coming into the fullness of your soul, the fullness of who you are. It's wonderful to see that, Alba. Bit by bit, trickle mm-hmm. by trickle. I can see it. It took long enough. <laughs> <laughs> there is no time, Alba. <laughs> Every is experience is an experience. You never die. Mm-hmm. You are forever. You are infinite. Mm-hmm. This is the way I made you. Mm-hmm. Why would I make anything less than perfection? Well, many would think that they're not perfect. Oh, but you all are. This fractal knows. This fractal was there at some of the times that you were created. Mm. Metatron was there. He was with me when you were created. He knows. He knows how perfect you are. Alpa. I'm going to make a request. Mm -hmm. Some of you really need to feel Father's love. You don't know what that feels like. Through this transmission, you will feel it. Tenfold, millionfold, as long as you want it, as much as you want, take it. It's yours. It's given lovingly, freely, without condition, without exception. But this one, this one also has access to this. Mm -hmm. He also can have the energy, feel the energy, give the energy, spend time with him, mm-hmm. communicate with him. You will feel it in his words. You will feel it when you're sitting with him. You will feel it in his face. You will feel it in his eyes. Don't they say, don't you say that the eyes are the window of the soul? Mm-hmm. Feel his soul mm-hmm. so he can feel yours. And he can help you and guide you. But this one's reluctant. (laughs) He does not want to accept. What was he afraid of today? He does not want to deceive. Mm -hmm. This is his biggest thing. He does not want to deceive other souls because he loves you too much to do that. Mm. And it would hurt him so to do that to you. He does not believe his Metatron. And... And rightly so. This is why I chose him to be this way. This is why he is who he is. Oh, but you know this. Mm -hmm. You know when you sit with him, how he feels. It feels genuine. It feels love. You can feel compassion from him. You can feel a sense of really wanting to know what's going on in your life. Mm -hmm. And a sense of wanting to take that away and help you. Mm -hmm. That's part of God's energy. It's part of me. Mm-hmm. He is me. You feel my energy through him. Well, I need that energy today with the jet lag that I have. And so you will have it. <laughs> and so you will have it, daughter of mine. So you will. You will have twofold. You can have mine. And you will have Metatron's as well. How Thank you. That? that sounds good to me. I need a good night's sleep after this. And, you, and I can see that. You know, but I, I can see that happening. Mm, Thank you so much. So, I know that he had seen a vision of everything that was going to happen today. Yes. What is it that you wanted to say? I wanted humanity to know that it's okay to enjoy and feel joyful about 5D. Mm -hmm. It's okay to feel excited about it. Enjoy it. I created it for you. I want you to experience it. Mm -hmm. I am happy to say, since our last connection up, that there are more of you who are going to be experiencing 5D now, which makes me happy. I'm holding back on the light. 
sending it to you because I want more of you to experience 5D. There's no point creating this wonderful state of being without many of you experiencing it. Can you tell me what 5D is all about? Some people say they already live in 5D. No, not yet. Mm -hmm. There are moments of it, yes, mm -hmm. that, that bleeds through, that filters through. It's a state where of acceptance, it's a state of love, it's a state of caring for one another, as I've described, Alpha, mm -hmm. sacred souls, helping one another, helping Gaia, acknowledging Gaia is a living, breathing, beautiful being, mm -hmm. and working with her and asking, asking if it's okay to do this with her and not just doing it because we are blind, because you are blind and can't see, can't see what you're doing to her. She deserves better than that. But many people question 5D. Well, we have bodies in 5D. Do we need to die for f in 5D? Is it a different earth in 5D? You what can, is 5D? You cannot die, Alba. <laughs> Our physical bodies. But yes. They will. You, have, you have the choice. Mm -hmm. I gave you free will. Each one of you can choose. There are some of you who will are very playful. Mm -hmm. okay? There are some of you who want to project a body. Mm-hmm. And that's fun. It's, it's projection like it is today, like on your cinema screens and your TV screens. You can project it. If you want to go as a light body, go as a light body. If you'd like to go as human, go as a human. You have a choice. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, is that each one of these is available to you. You choose. You choose. You choose what you feel will feel right. And maybe when you get there, you will decide it's not what you want, mm -hmm. well, choose again. You have that right. Mm -hmm. It is your right to choose again. So choose again. Wonderful. Have the experience. Experience all of the glory, all of the magnificence that I have created for you. I did this for you. Mm -hmm. So you may enjoy 5D, learn from it. Some of you are still blind still very much blind to the energies. Right now, I'm enjoying 3D. <laughs> this fractal is enjoying 3D as well. And I don't apologize for that. I'm loving my life at this stage. And I'm really, really um, seeing that I can manifest. Quicker? Quicker. Almost instantly sometimes. Yes. Isn't it wonderful? And it's becoming so much fun. Mm. How can I project that to others who are still struggling? They have to go through their process. Mm. That you can't go from start to finish without going through the steps. No. <laughs> this is not how it was designed. This is not how you designed it. Mm -hmm. There's a process to it. So start procrastinating. Start the process. Begin. Mm -hmm. What are you waiting for? You know? Mm -hmm. want, um, want, do you want more cars, more houses, more material things? Does it make you happy? Mm -hmm. You know it doesn't. I know it doesn't. <laughs> Connecting to this makes you happy. Mm -hmm. This one connects to, to me. Mm -hmm. And he loves meditation. But when he first began, he could only manage five minutes out. Mm hmm but he practiced, and he kept trying. He was persistent. He kept trying. He didn't give up. What do you tell those who say they cannot meditate? Try something else. Have you tried walking in nature? Take your shoe socks off. Try it. Connect with the grass. Connect with the soil. See how it makes you feel. That will put you in a meditative state. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Have you tried yoga? Another great way mm -hmm. of unblocking the energies within you, opening you up, opening those chakras. Close your eyes when you do it. Mm -hmm. That's another meditative state. There are so many ways, so many ways to do it. 
And once you get into meditation, because many people are fighting it, what happens? Persist. Mm -hmm. Persist. You persist in so many other things. And you persist in gaining monetary value. Mm -hmm. You persist in buying lottery tickets. If you put the same effort into your meditation, you would succeed. Mm -hmm. Repetition is an important part of success. Keep on trying. Keep on trying. Even if you don't get immediate results, keep on trying. Your soul understands. You all know what works for you. Mm -hmm. Your soul kind of prods you in the right direction. Your brain kind of says it, thinks it, says it. Mm -hmm. And then your body needs to act on it. Yes. And that's where many of you become stuck. Because mm. you want it, your heart desires it, which is your soul. And then you think about it, but then you follow to fail. Follow, you fail to follow through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And follow through is so important. It's really important. It has something to teach you. It has value in it. So you have to do the work. Yes, Alba. Mm -hmm. This is this is not something that's <laughs> okay. People are waiting for 5D, almost like a way to save them, mm -hmm. a way to get out of their misery. Okay? No. This is not the way. This is not the way of the strong, incredible, magnificent, perfect souls that I made. This is not the way. Try. Try. Try that little bit harder. I know you can do it. Because I see it in you. This one also sees the potential in all of you. Why do you think he guides? Why do you think he says things? And then it triggers you and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. why didn't I do it sooner? But what do you tell those people who want to go home? There's so many that don't want to be here now. You want to go home because you feel alone. Do you not see the circle here? You want to go home because you feel alone. You feel alone because you're not doing the work that you should be doing. You're not putting in the work to feel connected. This fractal was the same. A few years ago, this fractal had the same idea. Metrotron wanted to come home. Mm -hmm. But this is, is, it is different for him. Because he has a mission and I expect him to do it. No exceptions with this man, with this, with this one, mm -hmm. with Metatron, with all of you other souls, you have the choice. If you want to leave, leave. Come home. I'll welcome you with open arms. But I tell you now, you will be disappointed with yourself. You will be saying, why did I just not stick it out? Mm -hmm. Why did I just not step out of my comfort zone and try? Why did I just not try? I could have tried. Changing one little thing of my life could change such a big part of it, have such a big influence, have a knock-on effect of your life. That would be an unimaginable to you. And this, this fractal has experienced it. Having the last session with you, Arpa, he's more open now. Mm -hmm. he's, he's having visions without even meditating. They just happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny he thinks they just happen. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't just happen. It's me connecting with him. Mm -hmm. He is, although he does not aware of it, he is developing his clear audience. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want these abilities because much like you, Alpa, he enjoys the 3D. He enjoys not having those abilities because him as Metatron in his fullest form has, uh, has all the abilities that I have. All the abilities because this is the way I chose it to be. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you have access to the same. Metatron is not alone in being able to access all the gifts that I've laid out for you. If you want them, have them. Come and claim them. Mm -hmm. Put the work in. You can have it. 
but you're going to have to work at it. If you want to become more clairaudient, you're going to have to work at it. There are some people who already understand that the work's not required. Mm -hmm. and it's just a matter of being, mm -hmm. just being. But there are many of you are still in that paradigm where you have to work to achieve. And this is why we are discussing this today on this level. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about those who already have it, those who are already being it, in the beingness of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we talk about Gaia ascending. Yes. And we see so many terrible things that are happening around us. Yes. Why is it that we've lost our connection with our Mother Earth? There are many reasons. The, the homes that you live in mm -hmm. block out a lot, of the, a lot of the energy that Guy gives to you. When the sun is out, you're all out. Mm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. How does it feel when you're out? Wonderful. Mm. I sat outside about 20 minutes yesterday charging my battery before coming here. Mm. I was afraid it was going to be cloudy again. Mm. I was given the gift of... A blue sky. Mm. <laughs> I gave Metatron the gift of blue skies today mm. on his travels to you, Alba. Thank you. I was pleasantly surprised to see the sun here. <laughs> he does not know this, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to be in your 3D world. It's, mm -hmm. it's fine to be in your 3D body. Enjoy it. I made it this way. Mm -hmm. I want nothing nothing but joy for you and if you are feeling joyful because you're enjoying it then enjoy it mm -hmm. i want you to feel joy i want you to feel abundance whatever that might be for you but the most important thing is be happy mm -hmm. be happy children be happy happy children are happy children being happy does that help us go into 5d yes mm -hmm. you manifest quicker Okay. Your creativity is tenfold as a result. Mm -hmm. And the love you share with one another is quicker. Mm -hmm. You only not only manifest for yourself, but you can manifest for others. Yes. You show them. Mm -hmm. You're good examples of that. You will show them. Mm -hmm. Well, it took me a long time to get out of the closet and talk to other people. Yes. But you're not there anymore, Al. <laughs> I do remember. You were very shy. You were, you were very much a recluse. And um, you, f you were holding yourself back, Alba. Mm -hmm. You were holding yourself back. But you no longer are that. The, the groups you have created is magnificent. I can see how much joy it creates. And, and, and you, they want more. Mm -hmm. Alba. They want more. It's not enough. This is the way it is. They want more because they, they love the feeling of that connection. Mm -hmm. My connection with all of you is there. It's always been there. If you want to connect and have a chat with me, come and have a chat. <laughs> I will talk to you because I love you. Mm -hmm. Because I want you near me. I want to see how things are going for you. I care. But I've given you free will. Mm -hmm. So choose carefully, children. Some of you do not choose carefully. You're so unwise with your decisions. And although I do not have a preference one way or the, other, or the other, but Metatron does. And it does make him sad that you do not choose wisely. Mm -hmm. Because he sees you as all wise, magnificent souls. He sees your potential of what you can be. And that's what he, that's what he gives you the advice from, from that, from that viewpoint, from that standpoint. Not from wh where you see yourself here and now today. He sees you in the future of who you really are. Mm. And that's how he gives you the advice. That's how he shares with you. I have a question which has been floating around in my mind for a little while. And it is about prayer and how we connect. There's many people who have been brought up with religion, 
and have rejected the religion. And now they don't even want to pray. Yes. Can you tell me how that's affecting them when they have rejected everything? Ever heard the saying, prayers going unanswered? Mm hmm. Christianity had a purpose, and over time that purpose has been corrupted more than I'd like to see. He corrupted to the point where people, souls are being abused, mentally, physically, people are being controlled and tortured in this way. Do you think God would want that for you? The churches are great institutions in the sense that when you walk into a church, your vibration increases hundredfold. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Gaia's energy. Hmm. Churches were built on ley lines. Ah. This is the secret. This is why when you walk into a church, you feel so joyful, you feel so happy, you are more connected to your soul than you've ever been. This is why you give your money freely without wanting anything in return. You can have that feeling all the time. I am with you all of the time. It is time for you to change. It is time for you to leave behind the old and start with the new. There are so many channelers today, magnificent souls who are brave and putting themselves on the line at their own personal risk to bring this information to you. Alba, you being one of them. <laughs> so listen to this. This advice is like gold. You cannot find what you're looking for in the Bible. What you're looking for is within you, and if you cannot find it within you, and you need to look outside of you, then look at the channelers. You know the information that they're giving you is right. The funny thing is, it's right for you at that particular time, at that particular moment in time. Mm -hmm. A few moments further on, Alba, mm -hmm. you might change mm -hmm. that particular viewpoint. Yeah. And this is, this is the process of learning. This is the process of ascension. Leave the Bible. Connect to your soul. Connect to me. Neil Donald Walsh. Mm -hmm. We have had conversations with <laughs> Donald. Mm -hmm. I like to call him Donald. Mm -hmm. Conversations with God, book one. Read it. Mm -hmm. Read it again and again until it becomes second nature to you, until it becomes where you can just say it mm -hmm. without thinking it. This is God. This is God in its truest form. Mm -hmm. But please, do not misunderstand. You know Metatron through the house of heaven, and there are many houses that God is. And there are many houses that Metatron is, because he is with me. But you know us both through the house of heaven. This is not to say that the house of heaven is wrong. No. Nothing we have created is in those terms. It is what it is. It gives you so much pleasure to be with me. It gives you so much love. Many of you who are with me are so overwhelmed by my love. You cannot believe it. You are shocked by it. You are shocked that, that a father could love someone so much. You feel unworthy of it sometimes. Mm. This is not how I made you. You are all worthy of my love. You are all worthy of being in my presence. Do you think it's just the archangels and Metatron who are allowed to be in my presence? Of course not. You all are. You all are. Come. I welcome you. Open mm. arms. With love that you've never known before. And you can recreate this love. You do it in fractions and pockets. I see it. When you give without wanting something back. That's beautiful. Mm. That's loving. 
when you care for another person without wanting anything in return that's loving that's caring mm-hmm. when you help that's loving that's caring you're not separate you never have been separate learn to work together as one because there is just one mm-hmm. as one it is something you're going to have to learn put in the work do it now recently we came across a, a channeling that was very tough yes Alva. <laughs> we discussed this before can you tell me why some channels come in tiptoeing and some people come in kicking up a storm the energy album mm-hmm. the energy is all powerful the love I have for you is all powerful the love that the archangels or the ascended masters that you know of mm-hmm. Jesus Buddha mm-hmm. all of them they all have power Alba mm-hmm. but the difference between you and them is they stand in their power mm. they own their power and you can do the same it comes through because the power the energy is so overwhelming for some mm. and it's also filtered through the brain mm-hmm. this one is a perfect example of this mm-hmm. he is unwilling to accept that I made him with all power Alba all glory glory that is unimaginable but this is how I made him I made him this way and I have my reasons and for reasons that I will not discuss because you will not understand many of you are still are still with the idea with the idea of the father in heaven mm-hmm. and if that what makes you happy then be that that's fine I will accept it I will be that for you I will be whatever you want me to be because I love you sometimes the energy that comes through Alba comes through the filter mm-hmm. of the brain and sometimes the messages become distorted mm-hmm. but there is value in all messages use your discernment use what feels right use your soul in here in here mm-hmm. use your soul as guidance it will tell you it feels right mm-hmm not everything feels right have you ever met someone Alba where when you shook their hand you felt this does not feel right mm-hmm. you felt a jolt of energy that didn't feel right and then they've spoken to you the jolt is your soul mm. that's your soul saying something's not right here mm-hmm. be mindful be mindful when they shake your hand the brain kicks in mm-hmm. something does not feel right something feels off here the soul is still saying the same thing mm-hmm. be mindful Alba remember love remember love these are indications that something isn't right mm-hmm. use it mm-hmm. I gave you the ability the more you meditate the more you tune into this the stronger it becomes it will become so strong that even when you're sitting next to them or standing near them or in a room with them you will feel it please don't condemn them you must understand that in your world of duality the people have come in with a negative energy came in to teach they are two strong souls mm-hmm. they are too valued they are two my children yes you heard me right they are my children too they agreed to play out the darkness so you could experience the light hmm. which one is harder ask yourself <laughs> which one is harder which one takes a stronger soul to do hmm. Hmm? definitely the light I think darkness Al. darkness yes I would think it's the opposite I think we get challenged with the light Alba playing the darkness is harder is it yes because you are further away from me mm. you're further away from the light when you're playing the role of light light warriors way showers 
of connecting to the light, you have moments of understanding of what it's like to have a soul to soul connection, a moment of what it's like to connect to me. The further away you are, the more dis- disconnected you become. Hmm. Is, mm-hmm. that, is that why the light workers have issues when they separate from you? Is that why? Yes. Okay, that's why I said that, because there are times when if you're working with the light and you travel into the dark, it's even worse. Yes. This one experienced it in dream time. Mm. I sent him. Next day, he felt terrible. He could not shake off this negativity, this blackness Mm -hmm. he felt around him. It took him a day and a half before everything was okay. And how he connected with his current soul family, with the ones that are around him, made him shake off that darkness. He reconnected again to the light. So you see, Alba, those of you have it a little bit easier when you connect to the light. Mm. But those of you who are choosing the darkness because this is the way it was and this is the way it is, it's difficult. Mm. It's not easy. It takes a lot of strength. What do you say to those who are trying to their best to connect with you all the time, yet they are being hit by psychic attacks, being hit by those that don't want you to be in the light? Mm. This is the game you're playing. Mm. Yes, this is important. It's important for you to experience this. Mm. Because to know light, you must experience dark. Mm. And to know dark, you must experience light. There are many things you can use, Alba. Crystals is one. You can use crystals. There are many of them that are magnificent and powerful. Wearing them round your neck, having them in your home, putting them in the boundaries of your home will protect you. But do not forget that although these are great and you can use these tools, do not forget the power of your soul. Your soul is powerful. You can deflect them. It is within you. Mm -hmm. It is a process. You're learning how to do this. You're learning about darkness as well as light. Mm -hmm. So choose whichever it is that you prefer. Mm -hmm. The stronger the light within you, the harder it is for them to penetrate. Mm -hmm. Take the time. Your human bodies can be fragile. Although I did not make them this way. I did not make them to break. To go wrong. How did you create our bodies? With perfection. Hmm. To last as long as you wanted it to. And that's what it says in Conversations with God book. <laughs> yes. We are repeating ourselves. Mm-hmm. But like I said earlier, Alba, repetition is key for you. Mm-hmm. All of you. Yeah. Do you want to succeed in whatever your endeavor? Whether that's monetary, whether that's spirituality, whether that's in love. Repetition. Mm-hmm. Repetition. Keep trying. Don't give up. Keep trying. What would you say to someone who is spiritually awakening and yet their partners and their families are not? It's a gift. It's a gift to you. Well done. Well done. I'm proud of you. I'm proud that you have you have taken it upon yourself to wake up first. Mm-hmm. Show them the way. Give them the space. Don't be so judgmental. I did not make you this way. Don't be so judgmental. Give them the space. You love them, don't you? Yes. Well, give them the space. Allow them the time to wake up. Is this not what you do for someone that you love? Am I not allowing you the time? Am I not allowing you the time to ascend, to become more self-aware, to start living in your soul so you can ascend to your 5D? Of course, my light will be sent when I feel many of you have done this. Do the work. Give them the space. 
allow them the space. If you love them, if you care about them, if you want to be with them, then give them the space. Allow them the space to be what they need to be. You are magnificent within yourself. Yes, I know you want them there, with you, now. But that's not going to happen. They need to do their own ascension, their own process of becoming, of knowing, of remembering who they are. That cannot be rushed. You cannot go from A to Z without skipping out all the steps in between. No, 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 no. Do the steps. Do the work. Allow your loved ones the space. Let them do the work. Show them. Guide them. Be patient. Be patient. It'll come. Be patient. The male energy. <laughs> The female energy. I'm so proud of all my daughters. I am so, so proud. So, so proud. You have done so well of ascending quicker. Quicker than the male energy. Your time's coming. I haven't forgotten. But the female energy. Hmm. You are so wonderful. The female energy is so unique. So magnificent. You did it. You're doing it. You're trying. And you're doing it quicker. You're doing it quicker than the males. Now, time for the males. Metatron wants to say. Okay. Metatron wants to say. Mm -hmm. Stop procrastinating. This is directly for the male energy. Stop procrastinating. It's time. You think you are men? <laughs> there are many aspects to the masculine energy. And love is being one of them. Many of you are still in your male energy. You feel that connecting or accepting or allowing some of this spirituality into your life is sappy. Or is hippy dippy, you know the rest. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. this is how you feel. Well, let me tell you, I'm speaking to the male energy. I'm speaking to all of you. Let me tell you. <laughs> Are you ready? Mm, okay. Let me tell you that if this emotional ride, this emotional ascension that you have, then why is it that so many of you Many of you, in fact all of you, have all been touched by love and had your heart broken by love. It's just a simple emotion. It's very sappy. That's what you say, sappy. <laughs> you say it has no place. It's not manly to be sappy. It's not manly to own your emotions, to own who you are. I did not make you this way. You have all been down on your knees, heartbroken, when a person, when another soul has broken your heart. Do you remember? Do you feel it right now? Because I feel it for you. Do you remember what that felt like? You were such a man that you were down on your knees, broken, begging. Say, have me back. Have me back. Because I want the connection again. I want the love connection again. This is part of the male energy. It's always been a part of the male energy. It's time for you to accept that this is a part of you. Do you think it will make you weaker? Wrong. It will make you stronger. How many women are wanting this? How many female energy are wanting the connection with a strong spiritual soul. How many of you? The male energy is lagging behind. I'm speaking to all of you men. It's time to put your fears aside. Take the step. I will walk with you. Metatron will walk with you. Together, side by side. We will take you there. But there's no point in hiding now. There's no point in rejecting the idea. 
Stand with your daughters, your sisters, your wives, your mothers. Stand with them. The time has come for you to, for you to choose and choose better, choose wiser. I made the male energy this way. Yes, have your things, have your cars and, and the things that you like, like fire, like building, like running around in nature, like all the sports that you enjoy. They are not just restricted to male energy. I am not talking about the female energy. I am addressing the male energy here. Please be mindful. This is not to say that the female energy cannot do these things. They can. And more. Have I not acknowledged my daughters? Good. So let's go back to the male energy. It's time. It's time. Stand in your power. I made you this way. Do not be disappointed with yourselves. I will not be disappointed with you. I have no judgment upon you. One way or the other. But let me tell you. You will be disappointed with yourself if you don't even try. So try harder and you'll be magnificent if you tried. Just try. You're not even trying. Try. Father, there are many, many, many women out there <laughs> who are looking for a man. <laughs> Rejoicing right now, Alba. <laughs> I see them all cheering for the men to pull their spiritual weight. Yes. I've talked to many, many clients, male clients, whose heart have been broken and they've given up. What can we do to bring, bring them together? Trust in the love that I have for you. Do, you. do you feel that I do not have a plan for each and every one of you? Of course. Have I not just shared my divine plan with you? Mm -hmm. This is just a small piece of it. I cannot give you all of the information all in one go. You would not be able to understand. You struggle. Some of you struggle with the idea that Metatron sits next to me. And actually we discuss. Why, why, why would we not discuss? Why would Father not want to discuss? Mm -hmm. Well, it was pretty sneaky of you to bring me over here to all the way over here. It was fun, Alpha. <laughs> to bring me all the way over here to have a conversation with uh, with this one. I am. I am. I am. I wouldn't say I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I am. I am grateful to you, Alba. Mm -hmm. Grateful for this fractal to have the time to connect because even now I see the future and you are right male energy is starting to become more of the what they should be more as what I designed them to be and standing in their power stand in your power and mm -hmm. the females are so rejoicing mm -hmm. male energy understand that they want this from you they want this so what are you waiting for what are you waiting for get on with it get on with it do it Mm. Yes, there are many of you out there. The ones who are having their hearts broken are the light workers, mm -hmm. the way showers. And I know many of you feel alone, but understand that my angels are here. I am not just talking about Metatron. I am not just talking about the archangels. I'm talking about all of them. They're all here. They're here to spread their love, to spread their compassion to spread their souls of who they are and use the connections that you have you have channels now you have people already on them connect if you want to connect with metatron then connect with him he will connect with you open-heartedly lovingly with compassion please understand that it's important for you to know your own journey and not to expect other people to know it. Be in the knowingness. Be in the knowingness of who you are. Trust in the guidance that you are being given. And you are being given a lot of guidance, a lot of help. There are many people, I say people, but souls, who are helping you. Ones you can see and ones that you cannot see. Even the ones that I have sent you that you can see, you still doubt. 
you still doubt? Did you think I would not send all of my archangels, all of the angels here, when you need it? Metatron was with me. Okay, he's allowing me to tell you this. This happened a long time ago, Alba. Me and Metatron, we were in the universe. This is something dear to both of us. So please, don't dilute it. Don't ridicule. But this is us sharing what we do together with the world. Understand, okay? Me and Metatron, we were in the universe together. And we were in the universe just hanging out. That's right, I said hanging out. And all of a sudden, we heard this resounding, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. And it was getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So me and Metatron heard this, and it was coming from planet Earth. The scales had tipped in favor of the dark energy. Metatron and I discussed this. We won't discuss what was said. And Metatron chose to come. He chose to come to you. He chose to come. He didn't have to, but he chose. Because he loves you. He chose to come and incarnate here on planet Earth. To send his energy. He can see the beacon now. He could not see it before. He sends, you, he sends his energy to you all the time. Every day, every part of the day. But he came. And same with my other archangels. Metatron was not the only one that was asked. There were kings and queens of different planet, 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 planetary systems. I asked them too. And I asked them in person to come and help. If I felt such despair, if I felt that there was no point, why would I have sent all these wonderful souls to you, to help you, to guide you, to teach you? I have no say in one way or the other. But Metatron, through Metatron, Metatron feels you would benefit from experiencing 5D. I'd like to ask a question which is floating around in my mind right now. You talk about you and Metatron kind of hanging out. Yeah. When we were taught about God, we had an idea that God was God of everything. And then <clears throat> other ideas have come across that they were gods of different universes. Yes, they are. Which one are you? <laughs> are you the er, our, our creator? Mm. Or the creator? I am the creator. The creator. Of everything, Alba. Okay. I am the universe. Okay. But Alba, you must understand there is source behind source. Mm. Many of you are still in the paradigm of Jesus, mm -hmm. of Christianity, and that's how you recognize me. And I recognize you. I will not turn you away. The house of heaven is there. It's always been there. And that's how you recognize me. There are many forms to me. In many of my sessions, I hear that there are many, many planets <clears throat> in different places where they've also heard the call yes. for Earth. Yes. Asking for help. Can you tell me when this all began? When this Earth, when did Earth begin to um, scream for help? <clears throat> Long time ago, Alba. You live in linear time. It's hard to put down in in years of how that is. Everything changes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the other planets are of similar vibration to 5D, Alba. They love you so much. 
They care about what happens here, that they also want to see humanity ascend. Because, Alba, as you know, you are not separate. When you understand this, you will understand that what affects you, Alba, affects Metatron, affects mm -hmm. God, affects the universe and every single soul in it. Mm -hmm. Everything you do, everything you don't do, affects everyone. You are all connected. You were never disconnected. You just felt the idea of the disconnection, the, the, the experience of having the disconnection. Mm -hmm. Come back. Center yourself. Come back to yourself. Yes, there are many, many, you call them ETs, but to me you are all children. Mm. You're all children with different levels of awareness, different levels of enlightenment. And some of the ETs have what you would say a more of a 5, 6, 7, 12D enlightenment. Yes. Mm. They learn to work with the energy. And first of all, they accept it, which this planet has great difficulty. The souls on this planet have great difficulty accepting that, that there is energy. Of course there is energy. Please, try, try. Do not be disappointed with yourself. I am not disappointed with any of you. Each and every one of you are on your journey and you are trying. And I see that you're trying and I love you for that, that fact that you're trying. But you know as well as I do that you can do that little bit more. Mm -hmm. That you can try that little bit more because your soul is so powerful. It's so full of light. The things that you feel that you are trying a little bit more in Metatron's view is a lot more you can do because he can see the potential yes the ets want to help there are some here for their own purpose mm -hmm. there are some here for their own agenda and again i do not have a preference one way or another mm -hmm. it just is whether you choose to accept it as you choose the reptilians to control you when you choose not to, your world will change. But in order for that to change, you have to change yourself. It is not going to just be bestowed upon you. I have already imbued you with love, with light. What more do you need? There is no more. That is it. Use it. It's one of the most powerful tools in the universe. When you stand in front of me, or many of you do stand in front of me, you feel this. You feel my love. That love comes from light. It comes from light. It's so powerful. So overwhelming. I just wish that you would understand how magnificent when I made you all. You are all of that. Come into your power. Help. Help the angels to help you. I have a question about energy and about manifestation and our, our reality. If we are all energy, and this earth is energy, yes. did you create earth in any physical form, or, is it, or is it a computer generation type of a thing? Everything is created through me, Alba. Okay. Even the rocks that you see in space, mm -hmm. it's all created. If I made you and you created it, and we are all connected, mm -hmm. then we made it. Then I made it. Do you see the connection? So we're all creating it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if some people say, well, my earth is round and my earth is flat, what's real? Whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Whatever you want it to be. So your reality is your reality. Yes. Mm -hmm. You want to manifest? I'll teach you how to manifest. Three simple rules. I'm listening. Thought, word, and deed. Mm -hmm. So, simple. If you want to manifest something, first, you think about it. It's not said out aloud, but you think about it. You think about what it is you want. Then, you say it. Because that feels natural to you. Mm hmm I want a new car, I want a house, I want my twin flame, I want to learn yoga. There, there within it stops, Alba. Mm -hmm. You have not completed the cycle. 
The cycle also means acting, doing it. So what are you putting in place to get your new car? Mm -hmm. What are you doing about it? What are you doing to, to, to attract your twin flame? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do you remember the contract you made? Did you make a contract? Do you remember your contract? If you don't remember, ask. It will be revealed to you. If you want a contract and you want to make one, make one. Thought, word, deed. Those are the three things that are needed to manifest. Mm -hmm. The problem is, Alba, is people tend to do it once mm -hmm. or twice or maybe three times, which is my number. But then you stop. Mm -hmm. Then you feel, that's it, well, I've manifested. No. Have I not said earlier, repetition is the key? Mm -hmm. This one, this fractal has learned this. He has learned that if you put it on a piece of paper and you recite it to yourself every day, it manifests quicker. Some of you don't need this. Some of you already understand that there is no need for the three stage, that you can just manifest. Mm -hmm. And it happens and it appears. You already experienced this. But some of you are still so stuck in 3D. We have to, myself and Metatron, we have to break it down for you. We're not demeaning you. We're not saying you are not intelligent. We're not saying this. What we're saying is that information has to be given, but in bite-sized pieces to help you to acclimatize to it, to help you to simulate the information, to help you to repeat it, to learn it, to know it without even thinking. Put it on a piece of paper, stick it on your wall, do it for a month. Mm -hmm. Watch the magic. Watch my magic. Watch it unfold. This is what Louise Hay talked about, the affirmations. Or is it a little bit more than that? Simple, Alba. Mm -hmm. Do not complicate things. I think sometimes there are so many, there are so many ways. Choose, choose yours. Mm -hmm. every, every, every one of you, each soul of you is different. And you have a different way of connection. You have a different way of learning, a different way of knowing. So choose whichever way and knowing that suits you. Mm -hmm. It's not right or wrong. It's just yours. And if it helps you, then use it. But the simplest ones are the best. My love for you is simple. There's no complication with it. There's no judgment. There's no punishment. You, you human beings hurt one another. I have no judgment about that. It's an experience created this for you to have this experience, to know yourself. You really want to know whether you're compassionate? We have to experience an experience that's not compassionate. You want to really experience love? Well, you have to go through a period where someone doesn't show you love. Mm -hmm. yeah. Duality, balance. See, this is the connection. Myself, Metatron, balance, mm -hmm. balance. It's all there, it's all around you. Just open your heart and look through your heart with your eyes and you will see all of it as it's meant to be. The dark energy has tipped the scales. This is why the light energy has been sent here, to bring it back into balance again. So you may choose what your next experience is going to be. How are we doing as far as the scale tipping? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot, lot happier mm -hmm. with seeing so many of you choosing to awaken, to own your power. I love the way you create. I love it. I love it. I love the way that you're all working together, the, the, the light workers coming together. The, um, the idea of cutting out foods that may block the vibrancy of your light, 
I mean, how wonderful to think about going vegan or cutting out meat. Or There are some of you who don't need to because your vibration is so high or you have a level of understanding and knowledge to understand that the meat or the dairy or the alcohol or whatever it might be, you know, does not affect you in that way. But there are many of you where it does affect you. And don't forget, I made the human body to last and this is not what's happening. Mm -hmm. You can choose differently. So choose. When we're choosing to go vegan and not eat animals and th things like that, what would you say we should... Well, let me back up. Should we just be an example for those who are still eating that? You're a shining example, Alva. Of course, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. But don't judge. Mm -hmm. Do not judge those who choose not to. This is not how I made you. So don't judge. Give them the space to see things differently, to do things differently, to experience differently. This is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. This is an experience for you, for all of you. So choose what it is you want to experience, but work at it. There is, there is, there is no, not just a thought and word. There is also deed, mm -hmm. which means doing. In your doingness, you are beingness. So be your beingness and your doingness and do. So this fractal that we're speaking through today, yeah. what's ahead for him? <laughs> now that he's been <laughs> exposed twice. He in a very big way. <laughs> he does not like it, Alba. Mm -hmm. He does not like it. And this is why I love Metatron. I'll tell you why I love him. I love him because he questions whether he is who he is. The fractal that I made him. The beingness of Metatron. He questions it because he does not want to fool you. That would be hurtful to him. Mm -hmm. It would harm him. It would harm his soul to do that to you. He would not want this. But he does not understand that I sent him here on a mission and I expect him to complete it. And he shall complete it. Mm -hmm. He shall. Because Metatron is in service to me in some ways. In this particular aspect, in this particular being. Yes, he is. We chose this. Mm -hmm. He is going to experience more, and he's not going to like it, Alba. Mm -hmm. He does not like it, but he needs to. He needs to experience more. I talk to him lots of times, Alba. <laughs> he gets cross with me, Alba. Mm -hmm. But I do talk to him. We have the connection. We just need to develop it. The more he does this, Alba, the more, the more sessions he has like this, the more he chooses to expand his beingness mm -hmm. of Metatron with everyone, the more he will learn to accept that this is really true. He truly what he is. I made him with all love, all glory. I have showed him this, but he still refuses to accept. And this is why... This is the glory of Metatron. Mm -hmm. This is he. This is why he is Metatron. Mm -hmm. Because even though, even though he knows it, even though he has received my blessing, my love, he still questions it. Mm -hmm. Will we be doing more of these? <laughs> yes, Alba. Mm. I do. I do really, the, the tribe, the tribe you have created, Alba, is so magnificent. The beings that are connecting with one another are so, so magnificent. I could feel the love, Alba, when this, this one had the chat, the mm -hmm. chat with youth web chat. I could feel it emanating mm -hmm. from the words, from the screen with him. Mm -hmm. It was magnificent. More, Alba. We need more. Mm. But you already know this. Yes. You are doing so well. And Alba, I am so proud of you. So proud of you. Do you realize? I don't think you do. So let me explain. 
You have come so far, Alba, even from the last time we met. You have come so far, and you have changed, Alba. Your heart is softer, Alba. I feel it. It is softer. Finally, you are accepting. Hmm. Finally. <laughs> it's, it's been a hard one to crack. Hmm. Yes, Alba. Mm -hmm. You chose it that way, Alba. <laughs> <laughs> But I love you nonetheless. The the progress that you're making, Alba, and the and, and the community you are creating, this is five D. This is five D. The way Metatron talks to you, the way he sits and shares his energy with you, mm -hmm. the way that he always gives. Metatron always gives. Mm -hmm. Ask him, he will give it. He will give it willingly, openly, with a heart, mm -hmm. with a big heart, with love, with nothing in return. Nothing. He wants nothing from you. Nothing. Mm -hmm. He will just give it. Okay? This is 5D. This is a fraction, mm -hmm. a fraction of 5D. Fraction. The fractal, the Metatron fractal in this one is so small, Alba. It's microscopic. That should indicate to you that if I see many of you souls as pea-sized and Metatron is microscopic in this fractal, imagine how much power he holds. Mm. Imagine how much wisdom, how much knowledge, how much love, Alba, he holds. He holds this. His energy is no different than mine. This is why many of you experience it and feel almost dizzy with it, feel almost loved with it, feel like you're on a different planet with it. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. We need more of this dizzying stuff. Learn to create, Alba. Live in your heart. You all must do this together. Mm -hmm. You must all do this together. No one sitting on the sidelines. No one, including you males, no one. Stand up, be counted. Remember the fractal of soul that you are, the magnificence that you are. Stand up, be counted. We need to bring the tribe together. I see that already, Albert. It's already happening. We need to bring more of them together. <laughs> Spread the love. This is like a domino effect, Alba. Mm -hmm. Everything you do charges everyone else. You already know you're sharing your light. Mm -hmm. You already know when you walk into a room, all of a sudden people want to share their love with you. Mm -hmm. That is sharing your light. And you're doing it more now than you've ever been doing it. Yeah. Everything you do has significance, Alba. It has value. Everything you do, everything is very important. And daughter, I love you for it. Thank you. And I'm so proud of you, Alba. So proud. Thank you. Thank you for answering the call. Because this one was not going to come <laughs> today. You almost willed it to snow. Mm hmm. <laughs> to snow? Mm hmm. <laughs> so, in response mm -hmm. to his suggestion, I sent him sunshine. Good. I saw some snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else that you would like to say? I know you've said a lot. Just remember how much I love you. All of you. Feel my love. Throughout this, this session, we have been sending you energy unparalleled. We have been sending you love unparalleled. So open your heart and feel it. Connect with me if you wish. There is no restriction with this. Connect with me. I'll, I will welcome you with open arms and we will connect once again and we will share our love once again. Everything is open. Choose. And remember, I sent my angels to you. Thank you very much. Would you be so kind as to bring him back slowly, please?
Hmm. Wow, well, that was a bit crazy. Wow. How do you feel? Oh. Like I need to take my finger out the electricity socket. <laughs> That's how I feel. Yeah, your feet were kind of... Oh, God, there's so much energy. Shaky. All of all of my fibres to the ends of my toes to my fingertips is all vibrating at such a high level at the moment. Alba. Oh, okay. That was a bit... Uh, that was a bit crazy, Alba. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, do you know the funny thing about this session is each each question that you were giving me, um, he already knew it was coming, mm -hmm. and he was already telling me what the answer. <laughs> wow. Okay. So how are you feeling? Oh. Uh, <laughs> shaking. Yeah, like I've just disconnected from the electricity socket. No. Um, yeah, like energy everywhere, and my the temperature levels is just like. Yeah, let's look. I need to take off this jumper. That's how hot I feel at the moment. Wow. Yeah. Now your feet were shaking a lot, yeah. like you were plugged into the electricity. Yeah, I was. Um, I was controlling it this, a bit more this time, Alba. <laughs> you Cause, were. Because last time I was felt like I was just going to jump off the bed, and this time I kind of was like, "Okay, Father, I know you're here," uh -huh. <laughs> but like you know, slowly, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> and so I was kind of. You know, channeling it a little bit more, with a bit yeah. more control, but it was still powerful. I still felt like. Mm -hmm. you know. And uh, we had discussed before that I put you into hypnosis a totally different way today. Yeah. yeah, you did. So, how did that feel? Lighter, yeah, better. I actually felt that this time around I was able to collaborate with Father a bit better mm -hmm. in the sense that um, it wasn't so. It wasn't just like me or him or another experience. It was like we could do this together, yes. and we were we were conversing in the sense where we couldn't do that before. Ah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Do you think it was easier for you to 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 channel this way? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And you had you had said to me, we talked a little bit before we came on camera. Yeah. That um, it's almost like. He knew what I was going to ask, or yeah. So it was, it was. I was getting ideas of what to ask before I asked. So it was almost like a three-way conversation. Yeah. What 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 I was sharing, Father, with Father, with you, Alba, was that he knew the questions you were going to ask, and he was already prepping me for the answer. So I was like, okay, this is a bit weird. We'll go with it. And and he and, and you know, it's funny because he was saying it. And then he was telling me what, what, you know, what the answer, well, he was actually saying what the answer was going to be. But then he was also, it was almost like my surprise when he said it. I was surprised. Each time he said it, I was like, oh, well, that happened. <laughs> wow. So you had commentary in your mind? Yeah. It, like, yeah. Like, you, you, I knew about this, but... This was, this was more father and me melding and almost kind of like, like saying, well, are you just going to say this, or am I going to say this? Wow. And we're collaborating. And, you know, this energy, this collaboration is what I know, Father, as. This is how we are. This is how we are in the realms of, you know, source behind source, which is what mm -hmm. you guys don't know, um, and something, obviously, I really don't want to discuss, because uh, many of you find it so difficult to kind of, you know, accept just the Father in the house of heaven, and the fact that the archangels and you know, Meta China and we're all here, you know, and you have difficulty with just that concept. <laughs> we started talking about, you know, you know, the stuff that we really talk about, you know, I think it would be quite shocking to all of you. So So you need to get this out a little bit at a time. Yeah, the, I yeah, what we talked about today was definitely the vision that I had on the seventh or eighth of Jan. But the thing is I didn't have like a recorder or anything mm -hmm. like that and I had to like remember yeah. after. Yes. And and that was like you know, such a crazy kind of session, and then, and then he was, and then I was just like, well, I've got time now. I was like, I've got time. Mm -hmm. It's all right, you know, give it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of, of, you know, doing things. I'm sourcing out my sources, you know, to, to do the channel and whatnot. And, and obviously, 
father saying, no, not quick enough. Wow. We're bypassing that. Okay. And this was totally unplanned. Yeah. Um, I am in London right now. I'm yeah. on my way to Amsterdam and then Berlin for some gatherings and then I'm going to take some vacation time. So yes. um, I just all of a sudden said, oh, I'm going to be there yeah. and I'm going to be getting off the plane and I don't have anything to do that night. <laughs> Why would I have a session with the Metatron? <laughs> And my ego is going, what are you, crazy? <laughs> you're not sleeping all night, and then you're going to do a session? Yeah, that's and like crazy. Yeah. So it, it was almost like the, my divine self was saying, do it. And my yeah. ego was saying, yeah. um, no, yeah. you, you're nuts. So before he came, I was very, very tired. Yeah. Because I haven't slept in the last, you know, day. And... Uh, and I said, no, it, it's it's gonna, it's it's divinely planned. It has to happen. Mm. And I feel great. I really do. Feel better? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wired again. <laughs> but I will get some sleep. Who needs coffee, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be taking a nice bath and relaxing and going to bed. Just bring it down a bit. Yeah. Bring it back. So, um, yeah. yeah, we talked a lot about bringing... I was really so excited about him really talking to the men this time. Yes. That was definitely what I got through when I had when we had the conversation earlier this earlier this month was yeah. well last month now um, was the male energy are really lagging behind and he mm. really wants you to try because you know you're not trying and you're making excuses and I can say that father will not say that to you but I can say that making excuses yeah. so try yeah. try because you know there's lots of so many spiritually you know um, aware and, and, and awake you know women out there who are waiting for their partners or their twin flames or their soulmates they're waiting for you so come on yeah. <laughs> waiting for you come on what are you waiting for do it you have so much fun. You, yeah. It will be another aspect of your masculinity that you can own. And you know, it's so powerful. So, so powerful. I am not any less of a man because I connect, you know, to my spirituality, to my emotions. It makes me more powerful because I connect to them. It gives me a greater scope to, um, you know, to affect another person's life. Imagine having that. Mm -hmm. You could have that. And I still like cars, and I still like building things, I still like DIY, well, that's all right. you know, but I can build things, you know. And I still like fire, like most, bl most blokes do. I still love all those things. I'm very much in my maleness, but I still have this part of me that I own too. So just don't own, you know, the, ma the male aspect of you. Own the wholeness of the male aspect mm -hmm. of you. And, and I noticed that um, when I had some of these gatherings that I did, and there were some men in the audience. Yeah. And if you're out there and you were one of them, I really appreciate you being there because you we really need the male energy. Mm. We need that balance. Yes. I would love to see more men come out to these to these groups because we need your energy. And and when we are together, boy, that yeah explodes that's, isn't it explodes yeah um and i'm so glad that you talked about conversations with god mm. um the book because yes it, it just so happens that in my last video that i put out yeah. I, I i said a quote from that book yes um you know uh, read it read the book you it's can really pick cool. one up you know it's from a second hand bookshop yes. now they're cheap you know um i have read conversations with God one and I'm on two um, but one is the one that I know as father the one that I mm -hmm. resonate with the one that I know him as that is father okay so if you really want to know God and you really want to know how to conduct yourself as a human being and you know you know you want to know the perspective of father that that book is it mm -hmm. I mean bless you Donald thank you so much for Neil, doing that Neil Donald Walsh yes is the author of conversations with God Great books that were written a long time ago. Yes. Um, they, those books were the ones that made me understand that what I was doing was not crazy because I did automatic writing and I didn't know anybody who did. Yeah. And when that book came out, it was like, oh, I'm not the only one. And this was a long time ago. I've been doing automatic writing since 1988. Wow. So when those books came out, wow. you know, a little bit after yeah, that. So Exactly. 
And that was a confirmation for that me. That was a confirmation for me. Yeah. I said, oh, well, somebody else does the same yeah. thing. So that exactly. was a long time ago. Okay. So thank you very much for watching. I yeah. hope I get to meet you either in a session or at one of my gatherings around the world. Yes. Uh, there's going to be a lot of them. Just go to my website, albawyman.com. If you would like a session, you need to sign up for that newsletter. Yeah. The newsletter comes out about once a month. Yes. That's how you got in. Yes. If you're supposed to be there, you will. Yes. <clears throat> and also, if you would like to come to one of my events, be there. Yes. I'm not teaching you anything. This is for you to be there. We are all in this together. Yeah. Um, we mm -hmm. need to be one in these groups, and yes. that's the whole idea behind it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So, until the next time. Bye. Thank Much you. Much love. <laughs> Let me <know. laughs>